So I recently bought a iAudio X5 MP3 player from a thrift store. Knowing that the device might not work, well it didn't turn on in the store. So I brought it home and I tapped into the, the uh, power leads and I was able to turn it on. It seems that the, the battery is incapable of holding any power and I don't have the original leads so I have to use this makeshift charging the thing that taps directly into the leads. So I'm going to now change the battery to a modified Nokia cell phone battery so that this thing might live again. Taking the thing apart itself is really easy, just four screws. So let's get to it. So after removing the hard drive, we have now exposed the old battery and this needs to be removed. And then here we have the Nokia battery that I've soldered some leads on. Please don't solder leads on to LiPo batteries. If you don't know what you're doing, they can explode. And if I'm unable to tap into the original charging circuit so that I can use that, I'll just use one of these charging modules. And now let's get to removing the original battery and replacing it with almost the same kind of battery. Now let's test if we can turn this thing on, and yes we can, but there's a hard drive missing message. Now since the battery is almost exactly the same size, we can actually fit them in with the hard drive. Now let's connect the hard drive, and then we can test if everything works as it's supposed to. Now thankfully the 
the connector comes with a little tab so you can't insert the hard drive upside down. Okay, and now let's turn it on with the hard drive. And it turns on and it seems to turn on and load the operating system. Okay, we're in and we can actually use the device. Now, the thing is that we're going to still need to put this thing together. And that's up next. And you still can charge this thing because it uses non-standard ports, which I don't have. You can only connect to it using the on-the-go port, which is on the side, but you can't charge it from that. So that's up next with this device. And this battery is going to go into the recycling center. And the current hard drive is going to be replaced with a CF card that has one-tenth of the power usage of the current thing. Now I'll just need to put the thing together, test that it still works, and then that's all. Thanks for watching and goodbye.